So my name is Michael Yuskiano and I'm with Alfresco Software. Today I'm going to build a Spring application and I'm going to use Surf as the view technology. I'm going to use Spring Source Tool Suite to build the app and I'm going to use Spring Root to do some of the quick application assembly from the command line. I'll get started by um, creating a new Spring project. So you could use this for existing Spring projects, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to create a new simple Spring project and I'm just going to call it Alfresco. And I'm going to tell it not to generate any files, which basically means I, I want to do everything from the ground up. So this is going to give me a very basic spring structure. You can see it here under the name Alfresco. What I'll then do after that is I'll enable it to use Spring Roo by adding the Roo project nature. And with that change, I can now bring up the Roo shell. Roo is included with Spring Source tool suite, so I don't really have to do much more than this. Roo launches right inside of uh, Spring Source. Uh, tool suite and I have all of the commands. I think there's some 30 some different modules that are included with Spring Roo out of the box. One of the commands I can use is the project command to quickly build a project. I can use some of the autocomplete capabilities so that I don't need to type in everything by hand. I'm going to create a top level package called org.alfresco org and as you can see that's going to generate some things for me that I don't now need to do by hand. So one of them is it gives me a Maven build file and assumes the, main, the Maven project structure and it gives me an application context file for my Spring app. The next thing I can do is I can type in install surf and I can run that. And what that's actually done is it's generated all of the different pieces that I need for my surf app. So the configuration files, it's adjusted the, um, the Maven build file, the palm XML file, so that it has the surf dependencies in it. And it's given me some sort of sample stuff as well. So sample site things like pages and templates and things to work with. So a really quick way to get going. That's something that I dropped into Roo. It's called the Surf add-on for Roo. I dropped it in and now I can quickly scaffold the site out. Um, once I've done that, the only other thing I really need to do is to tell Spring Source Tool Suite that I want it to uh, manage the, Baven, the, the Maven files for me. So Spring Source Tool Suite can now look at the um, POM XML file and say, oh, you want to use Spring. Let me go to the Spring servers and pull Spring down into my project during the build. Oh, you want to use Surf. Let me pull down Surf and inject it into the project as well. So it's called updating uh, Maven dependencies. It crawls the, the hierarchy and makes sure that you have all of the latest stuff so you can see that that's running. And once that's complete, I now have all of the things that I need and I can execute the build. I can also do that um, from the command line. In fact, what I can do from the command line is I can tell it to um, deploy to the local Tomcat server. And this is actually just going to start the thing up. Um, our web project mounted onto the local Tomcat server. So I don't really need external stuff. I can do it all right within the tool. This guy will start up. It'll be under the slash alfresco context, and then I'll be able to load it up inside of my um, uh, Safari instance. So here I can see it's available, and now I can switch over to Safari, and I can go to localhost 8080 alfresco, and I have a home page, and the site will come up. And there you have it. So the site launches and it has basically some information about how Surf works, how you can find out more information about Surf, and how this site was constructed. So as you can see from this site, it gives you a home page, it gives you another uh, products page, it gives you some basic components for things like headers and um, horizontal navigation, vertical navigation, and some uh, simple controls that you can use is either as something that you'd, you'd want to use straight away or something that you may want to extend uh, going forward. So in subsequent videos what we'll do is we'll look at how you can add additional components to this including Alfresco uh, repository components, CMS repository components, as well as PHP and Groovy backed uh, components as well. So stay tuned. Thank you.